Now the next one is concerned with this expression log of root 25 to the base 10 log 2 cube to the base 10 log 4 square to the base 10 raised to x. x could be anything. Let's see what the value of this is. So we will write this log root 25 is nothing but log 5 which is nothing but log 10 by 2 to the base 10 right minus log 3 log 2 to the base 10 because it's log 2 cube to the base 10 plus <coughs> log 2 log 4 to the base 10 raised to x so this is nothing but now log 10 to the base 10 minus log 2 to the base 10 minus 3 log 2 to the base 10 further this can be written as 2 log 2 square to the base 10 the whole raised to x this will turn out to be log 10 to the base 10 which is 1 minus this will become 4 log 2 to the base 10 this also will become 2 into 2 4 log 2 to the base 10 the whole raised to x this and this gets cancelled and you get 1 raised to x which is going to be 1. So ultimately all the terms get cancelled what you left is just log 10 to the base 10 which is 1 raised to x which is going to be 1. So hence we have 1 as the right answer and yes we can reaffirm that okay now here we have <coughs> what we have here is a kind of a series we have 2 log x plus 2 log x squared plus 2 log x cube plus 2 plus plus up to 2 log x raised to n will be what what will be the value of this now hence we need to add up all these we can take 2 as a common factor hence we get log x plus log x square plus log x cube plus log x raised to n. Now what do we do next? We have the power rule. The index becomes a coefficient. So we get 2 into log x plus 2 log x plus 3 log x plus n log x. So we have all this. Now we can take log x common as a common factor because all of them and what we have inside is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n. If you look at this, <coughs> This is nothing but the sum of the first n natural numbers. And as per the concept of arithmetic uh, progressions, where the common difference is 1 and the first term is 1, the summation of this series would be n into n plus 1 upon 2. And this would be 2 log x. So it's 2 log x into n into n plus 1 upon 2. 2 gets cancelled. And hence, what we are left would be n into n plus 1 log x. So, if we suppose n is 2, it's going to be 2 log x. And accordingly, if we substitute 2 into 3 log x, we get. So, this is how we simplify it, collect all the terms. Log x goes out. And what is inside is nothing but the sum of the first n natural numbers, which is n into n plus 1 upon 2, which is n bracket n plus 1 into log x. Hence, among these, this would be the right option. Yes, and that is the right option. Please take extra care for these kind of sums. Okay. <coughs> now, here it's told, again similar to this one, n is equal to m factorial, where m is a positive integer greater than 2. Then the value of so and so is what? 
Now here we are using the concept of m factorial. So just to brush up what is m factorial m into m minus 1 into m minus 2 into m minus 3 and so on and so forth till 1. But here it is told it is greater than 2 so maybe till 2 we will get to do it. So m minus 3 m suppose m is 10 so it will be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 and so on and so that is a factorial part of it. So we will need this for substitutions. So let's take this it's 1 upon log n to the base 2 plus 1 upon log n to the base 3 plus 1 upon log n to the base 4 plus 1 upon log n to the base m. <coughs> We need to find the summation of this particular series. Now what comes to our mind is the rule that log a to the base b and 1 upon log b to the base a. Log a to the base b is a reciprocal of 1 upon log b to the base a and hence it is log b to the base a. This is going to be log 2 to the base n plus log 3 to the base n plus log 4 to the base n plus log m to the base n. So this again change of base rule wise this will become log 2 upon log n plus log 3 upon log n plus log 4 upon log n plus it goes on log m upon log n. Now this if you see is nothing but denominator is common log n and numerator is log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 and all these up to log m. Now here if you see uh, you have log n and all this is nothing but log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 plus log m. This if you see is the numerator is nothing but the number the log of whichever number it is reducing. So basically this is nothing but log m factorial log m log 4 log 3 log 2 it could have been log 1 2 but it's told over here that it number is greater than 2 so the numerator itself is log from the smaller value 2 3 4 it rises to m so obviously it's decreasing from m up to log 2 so this becomes log m factorial as per the given condition n is m factorial so this also becomes m fact factorial so it's log m factorial upon m, log m factorial which is 1 or you can write this in terms of accordingly you can convert in this one in terms of n. Hence we can write as log n upon log n2. So ultimately the numerator is log m factorial upon log m factorial which is 1. So among the options what we have is 1 that is the answer for this. So Remember, you are using two rules here. One is this particular rule, log a to the base uh, to base b is 1 upon log b to the base a and then we are changing the base over here and splitting up so that we get a common denominator. Fine. So, these two ones were concerned with sequences but they are very good for consolidating your fundamentals of logarithms. Let's see what we have next. Okay, so the answer is 1. So we have 1 as the right answer. A uh, small note for all the people, all of you who are still not clear about the concept of m factorial, please check the video and the module on permutation and combination where we'll be doing factorials in details. So that will help you get this answer in a much better way. So let's move away from here, move over further. Okay, so now we have log x to the base 2 plus log x to the base 4 is 6, find the value of x. So this is similar to the same one. So 
we have log x to the base 2 which can be written as log x upon log 2 plus log x upon log 4 which is going to be 6. This can be written as log x upon log 2 sorry plus log x upon log 2 square which is 6 and we have log x upon log 2 plus log x upon 2 log 2 which is 6. Hence we take the LCM we have 2 log 2 and here you have 2 log x which will turn out to be 6 log x plus log x 2 log x and here you have 2 log 2 sorry this is 2 log x plus log x hence this will become 2 log x plus log x 3 log x so we have 3 by 2 here and you have log x upon log 2 which is turning out to be 6 so which would be written as log x upon log 2 which would be 6 into 2 by 3 which is 4. So log x upon log 2 is equal to 4. Now this can be written as log x to the base 2 is 4. We are changing the base rule so log x upon log 2 can be written as log x to the base 2. Now we need to find the value of x so we don't need the log so we change it to the exponential form hence we write x equal to 2 raised to 4 so x will turn out to be 16 hence you get it as 16 so the value of x is 16 that should be the answer that satisfies this let's see and yes we have 16 as the right option what do we have next okay <clears throat> this is similar to what we did earlier which of the following is true if 1 by AB plus 1 by BC plus 1 upon CA is 1 upon BC? So we let's simplify. This is the given expression. It will be 1 upon AB plus 1 upon BC plus 1 upon CA is equal to 1 upon ABC. So if you take the LCM, we have ABC. ABC by AB is C. ABC by BC is A. ABC upon CA is B is equal to 1 upon ABC, ABC. This gets cancelled. That means that A plus B plus C is equal to 1. A plus B plus C is equal to 1. In that case, A plus B plus C is 1. So among these, you have which among these is the answer. So if you see which a plus b plus c turns out to be 1 means it is the same as telling a plus b plus c is equal to 1. So among these we have so we have a plus b plus c is 1 but all the expressions that we have over here are in terms of logarithms. So let's take log a plus b plus c and this side also you'll have to take log 1. We know that log 1 is 0 so it is log a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So among these options this would be the right answer. So among these log a plus b plus c is equal to 0 is the right answer. Let's check it and yes we do have it right. Now we have towards the end we have for what value of x the equation log 2 to the base root x the whole square is equal to log 2 to the base x. Now here you need to be careful this is not equal to log of 2 square to the base root x. So we cannot use the rule 2 log 2 to the base root x. So it will be log 2 to the base root x the whole square so it's eventually it is log 2 to the base root x into log 2 to the base root x which will turn out to be log 2 to the base x this is the way it is so 
in these kind of things simplification may not be the right solution we may have to substitute and check what the values are so we could possibly among these you have 32 4 8 and 16 we could start with the perfect squares because it is a root x and an x over here so let us check with 4 for example log lhs you have log suppose you take 4 so it will be log 2 to the base root 4 the whole square is what we have which will turn out to be log 2 to the base 2 the whole square which will be 1 square which is 1. The same thing on the right hand side if you take it log 2 and we have taken x as 4 to the base 4 this can be actually written as log of this has to be written as in terms of 4 so it will be log of 4 raised to half that is square root of 4 to the base 4 which will turn out to be half log 4 to the base 4 so it is half which are not equal so 4 is definitely not the answer let's check with 16 suppose x is 16 in that case you get log 2 to the base root 16 square which will turn out to be log 2 to the base 4 the whole square which can be written as log of 2 raised to 4 raised to half because 2 is square root of 4 the whole raised to 2 so this will turn out to be it's eventually log of 4 raised to half to the base 4 so this will turn out to be half log 4 to the base 4 the whole square which would be half into 1 the whole square which is 1 by 4 so left hand side if we substitute x as 16 turns out to be 1 by 4 let's see what the right hand side is right hand side is log of 2 to the base 16 now this can be now written as log of 2 can be written as 16 raised to 1 by 4 because it is a fourth root of 2 is the fourth root of 16 to the base 16 which will be 1 by 4 log 16 to the base 16 why do we do that we keep the base and the power the same so that it turns out to be 1 1 by 4 into 1 which is 1 by 4 so among the values the 16 we didn't even bother to check 8 and 32 because in such cases one of them is x and the other one is root x you should try start with the perfect squares now the second one is already satisfying so definitely these two will not satisfy so it's going to be 16 so among these values 16 would be the one which could satisfy this particular equation so and what we have is this